Today, we're going to create a workflow that automatically sets a contacts lifecycle stage based on a set of criteria. So I am in HubSpot. I'm going to make a contact based workflow here. This is going to be blank. I'm going to hit next. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my criteria. So let's say, all right, whoops, skip that. And right, criteria is met. All right, so let's say I want someone to have filled out at least one form. Be greater than or equal to one, we'll say. And maybe I want it to be a specific form. I could come down here and say, I want this to be the contact Lex form, for example. Um, another thing we could do is say, we want this uh, individual to have, you know, a company size that's under a certain threshold or we want this contact to be unassigned. Any information that we're storing in our CRM, we can use as one of these triggers or one of this criteria for our, our contact enrollment here. So just as an example though, I'm gonna leave this be and I'm gonna say, okay, this is all I want. And then the second step I'm gonna include is just to update the life cycle stage. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say set property value. I'm gonna come and find my life cycle stage. And I'm going to say, I'm going to set that to be an SQL. So again, this is an example of if we want to move people right along to a sales qualified lead based on a set of criteria, we can do that. Thanks so much for the questions. Please reach out with any more.